I want to thank all of my viewers who love sailing yachts and regularly watch my videos in the hope that one day I may talk about a sailing yacht. Hopefully this video will make that wait worthwhile. Actually, it seems that it's not just me who doesn't know as much as I would like to about the world of super sailing yachts, but the world of super sailing yachts doesn't know much about me either. Because when I contacted Royal Housemen and asked them for information about their latest incredible launch, Sea Eagle 2, they wrote back and said, well, your channel's called Yachts for Sale, and this yacht is not for sale. I tried to explain to them what the channel's all about. I've heard nothing back since, so I'm very grateful to my great friends at Super Yacht Times who jumped in with some incredible material that I've been able to use. Actually, it's remarkable to me how they're always the first on scene when there's a big yacht launched or sea trialed. So I've put a link to their website in the description below. And if keeping up to date on yachting is important to you, I really recommend that you check them out. When she emerged from the sheds at Royal Houseman's Yard in the Netherlands earlier this month, we got the first exciting glimpse of this spectacular sailing giant. Measuring 81 metres or 266 feet, Sea Eagle 2 is the world's largest aluminium sailing yacht and the seventh largest sailing yacht ever constructed. At 1,150 gross tonnes, she will accommodate up to 11 guests and 14 crew members. A three-masted schooner, her carbon fibre rig will stand at over 190 feet. And one of her most unusual features will be a main mast crow's nest, operated by a hydraulic captive winch. Sea Eagle 2 is the largest yacht to be built by Royal Houseman at its Volanov yard, and the temporary shed extension erected to accommodate her had to be dismantled prior to her rollout. She was then moved onto a barge and transported downriver to Royal Houseman's Amsterdam facility, ready for completion. The yard say that the project is progressing on schedule and her Rondal Panamax rig will be installed soon after her launch. In fact, most likely it will already be installed by the time that this video is published, ready for her sea trials prior to delivery this spring. She's been designed by Dijkstra Naval Architects with interior design and exterior styling by Mark Whiteley to enable fast yet comfortable and stable passage making Dijkstra's architects designed her hull with a hard chine and a schooner rig supported by carbon standing rigging. According to Thijs Nichols of Dijkstra Naval Architects, her plum bow very long waterline and her large sail area will ensure that the yacht can achieve the high speeds and the good performance requested by the owner. Expected to be capable of reaching 21 knots with a sail area of 3,050 square metres, the owner's representative has said that the client wanted a fast boat to enable him to see more of the world under sail. Royal Houseman built the first Sea Eagle, which was a 43 meter sloop designed by Freres for this same client. And discussions about a second boat are said to have started before the first boat was launched. Impressed with the quality of their work, he returned to the same yard. But despite their experience building extremely large sailing yachts, such as the 47 meter schooner Athena, the size of Sea Eagle 2 did bring some challenges. Construction started in June of 2017, after Royal Houseman had expanded their premises to take her. At the same time, the Yard reviewed its build procedures to ensure that the process was as speedy, smooth and cost efficient as possible. To do this, Royal Houseman took on systems commonly used in the aerospace and satellite industries, the concurrent design product development method and stage gating. Concurrent design works by completing different processes at the same time and involving all disciplines, while stage gating separates the process into distinct stages with decision points known as gates. In addition, 
the keel position, sail balance and rudder angle were all established following wind tunnel tests, as well as computational fluid dynamics calculations and a velocity prediction program assessment. Sea Eagle 2's hull is built in aluminium and to flip it over in 2018, it required skillful handling of four different cranes at the Royal Houseman Yard, with part of her bow protruding out over the river while her stern remained in the shed. Although it's lighter than steel, aluminium is more pliant and the significant loads this 81 meter hull will experience need to be absorbed without the boat flexing too much. So increased longitudinal strengthening was added and another measure used to manage the movement was to glue the coach house onto the deck rather than weld it to lower the risk of stress fractures. When completed later this year, Sea Eagle 2 will boast a stunning modern interior design by Mark Whiteley, who previously worked with Dijkstra Naval Architects on the 56 meter Aquarius. This sketch was also built by Royal Hausman and launched in 2017. Mark says that developing Sea Eagle 2 has been a particularly collaborative project with the whole team really invested in delivering the owner's dream yacht. He's worked with Dijkstra right from the inception on both the exterior styling and the interior design. The brief he was given was to create a contemporary, warm and inviting interior. His design features oak and alpi walnut, a high quality, sustainable natural material. It's made from poplar, lime or aeos, which is stripped and recomposed into a wide range of finishes and flawless patterns. It was chosen by Mark for use throughout the boat because of its consistency and sustainability. Turning to her interior layout, unusually, there's a particularly spacious combined lounge and formal dining area on the main deck where many owners would choose to place a master cabin. Instead, the master and the other five guest cabins are below to the rear with one twin that can double as a gymnasium. In addition, there are eight twin crew cabins up front, together with a galley and a mess. On deck, her most notable features include a raised pilot house with full flybridge controls on the sun deck, which also contains space for relaxation and sunbathing. There's also a half raised bridge for inside steering. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Sea Eagle 2 is not for sale, but it's such a remarkable yacht, I think it was well worth bringing to your attention. Actually, at the filming of this video, I've got no idea what next week's vlog will be all about, but there's so much exciting stuff going on in the world of yachting, I have no doubt it will be well worth watching. <laughs>